They're the power of liberty and freedom. I'm not the person that's important, and they're not going to go away. And they'll know in their hearts that whatever it is you're going to make up is a load of manure. This isn't the FBI and the CIA and the NSA 30 years ago when you still had the public trust. You don't have its trust. And you're just moving forward with America's inertia as if this can go on forever. The head of defense intelligence, the general, and the deputy head of the CIA have all gone public in the last two months saying our government ordered them to aid al-Qaeda and ISIS and that it's evil and they're fixing intelligence. Our military is standing up and doing the right thing. And they know that all started here four or five years ago. And if you actually try to cook something up, no one's going to buy it except for your little stable of kept, blackmailed, controlled uh, juries and grand jurists. And when I die, when they bury me six feet under, when I'm pushing daisies, I'm not going to be listed with all the cowards over there that went along with being a bunch of parasites in gangs who feel so safe in their cowardice, part of their little crews. And that's what this comes down to. We are about human empowerment. And I know it shook them up, the money bomb. I mean, you know how much money we have to bring in to run this? That's nothing. I know it shook the system up to know that we've got 1.4, 1.6 Billion people reached every month via social media. I know it shakes you up. We have billions of views online every year. I know it shakes you up. We reach three, four million people terrestrial radio a day. We got a million podcast listeners a day. And it's all growing. Absolutely. But I know as we rise to face you, for every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction, that you're going to do this. You are playing your role. You think you've chosen the right God, the right team. I've chosen the side I'm on, and that's where I am forever. And it is a fulfilling feeling, a buoying feeling, to know that I'm on the side of right and to show people they can be empowered and stand up against the Goliaths of this world. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosylcobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash afterwards, really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. Still damaging your brain. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the survival silver solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. 
and it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water for your preparedness storage or your home kitchen. Purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. Watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. Under intense pressure from conservatives in his own party, Speaker John Boehner has announced he will resign from one of the most powerful positions in government. He will give up his seat at the end of October. Now, Boehner blamed his decision on vacating uh, on the House's hard right members who he says are unwilling to govern. Now, really, it's more like there are a lot of people who are sick and tired of a rhino helping push the president's agenda. Now, uh, I'm talking like Ted Cruz. He says, these early reports are discouraging. If it's correct that the speaker, before he resigns, has cut a deal with Nancy Pelosi to fund the Obama administration for the rest of the year, to fund Obamacare, to fund executive amnesty, to fund Planned Parenthood, to fund implementation of this Iran deal, and then presumably to land a cushy K Street job after joining with the Democrats to implement all of President Obama's priorities, that is not the behavior one would expect from a Republican Speaker of the House. Indeed. Well, I'm glad that someone is finally speaking up. You'll recall that last year uh, they had another, oh, we're going to have to shut the government down. And they effectively handed over the entire budget for fiscal year 2015 to the Democrats' agenda, even though there was a Republican majority, even though the United States elected Republicans as a majority. They still handed it over. And then Boehner is once again trying to force this issue of pushing a leftist agenda. So no wonder, according to a latest Fox News poll, 62% of Republicans feel betrayed by the party and two-thirds believe the GOP leadership has not done anything to stop the Obama agenda. And here's why. Now, some people are speculating that Boehner is going to go and have a prominent position in the Jeb Bush campaign because he is all for another Bush presidency. Wouldn't that be so great? But indeed... Boehner seems to have been the wolf in sheep's clothing there, helping to push the leftist agenda. So here you go, Boehner, <laughs> shedding a tear for all of your hard work. What a stellar job you have done selling out the country. Everybody who knows me knows that I get emotional about certain things. And I think at the top of our list is providing for the safety and security of the American people. When are we going to defeat them? No, oh, yeah. no, not my nose. <laughs> no, it's not. What set you off that time? I know. Making sure uh, that these kids have a shot at the American dream. I got it. It's important. I put my, myself through school, working every rotten job there was, 
I will invite your ever kid at the same chance that I do. And I'll conclude with this. The Alex Jones Show. Because there is a war on for your mind. Oh my gosh, you should start crying. <laughs> Put it back on screen. Kids, and I certainly don't want the institution to go through this. And so, <laughs> He's got the tissue out. Well. well, you have seen the video of the Saudi royalty drag racing through the streets of California only to say, F America, and we have diplomatic immunity so we can do whatever we want, basically. Well, now that prince from Qatar has fled the United States after he allegedly was drag racing through Beverly Hills and he had has been denied diplomatic immunity from prosecution. Apparently, uh, in January, his estimated annual $10 million sponsorship suddenly disappeared. So he didn't have the money, I guess, or th his <laughs> diplomatic immunity was revoked. So what is diplomatic immunity? Well, diplomatic immunity is a form of legal immunity that ensures diplomats are given safe passage and are considered not susceptible to lawsuit or prosecution under the host country's laws, although they can still be expelled. Hmm. Immunity, when you hear that word, it's kind of more like a license to crime. And apparently it seems that this diplomatic immunity might be being abused by Saudi royals. So again, back in California, uh, there's this is coming out of the LA Times. A bleeding woman screaming for help as she tried to scale an eight foot high wall uh, was found after she was trying to escape a property where various foreign nationals have been renting out it out for weeks at a time over the last year. Well, the current tenant is a Saudi prince who allegedly tried to force a female worker to perform a sex act on him. And now this same guy has been accused of attacking other women in this home. And this is according to the LAPD. Detectives found more victims who were also alleging crimes against Mr. al Saud. Now, he was held on suspicion of false imprisonment, sexual assault, and battery, uh, but he was also ultimately booked for alleged forced oral copulation. Now, he was released on $300,000 bail, and he's scheduled to appear in court October 19th. But, of course, it's going to be really interesting to see if he flees the country now that he's out on bail, um, lest he be charged with a crime. Now, this is the same type of criminal behavior that's being reported in India and probably other countries as, as well. Um, but there, a Saudi diplomat has been accused of raping two maids, and he's... The, the country itself is really embarrassed about this because he's going to enjoy not only diplomatic immunity, but also blind support from his superiors. So these women say that for more than three months, they were forced to not only do all the chores from morning till night, but then they were brutally gang raped by seven to eight men uh, involved there at that household. They said if we resisted, the diplomat and his family would threaten to kill us and dispose of our bodies in the sewer and this is according to one of those women. Now, when the Pope is admonishing everyone there and talking that we all need to band together to end slavery, is this what he's talking about? Because again and again, we're hearing these stories of, of slaves or domestic servants in these royal households being mistreated and chained up, not allowed to leave. In 2011, a case in the UK involving two women who were held in slave-like conditions uh, by a Saudi diplomat in London, and another case in 2013 here in the United States involved two women held as domestic slaves for months by the Saudi defense attaché and his wife. In both cases, diplomatic immunity um, was invoked, so they were not prosecuted and given time to flee, much like the Saudi family right after 9-11. So perhaps it's time to revoke this diplomatic immunity at every level internationally because it's being abused as a license for crime. So again, you know, is this what the Pope is really concerned with? No, it's not the elite and their <laughs> domestic servants that are of most concern. It's about arbitrary identity politics and political correctness and controlling the rest of us. Uh, like, look here in Canada. They are looking to ban the word mother and father on government forms in the name of inclusiveness. They're going to be switching it out with the terms parent or guardian. One person said, screw you, Ontario. I am a mother. I gave birth to my babies. Stop effing with my rights. I was born, not made. 
And of course, they want you to forget that. <laughs> this is per political correctness run amok. Welcome to the new world order. It's not about inclusiveness, it is about total control. Authoritarians merely want obedience, while 